studio. You yeah. know, some people here in Towson were lighting some. It was it was nice to see. Not bad. I got a pun for you, but this one's a thinker, all right? Oh Lord, here we go. I'll, I thought the fireworks shows did well around here. In fact, yes. I'd say they passed with flying colors. Oh my, <laughs> you're too much. Okay, I know. How um, are things looking for us the rest of the evening, though? Pretty quiet. No, tonight short term, no problem. Star shine for most, uh, and then tomorrow we'll get back to our scattered pattern. So a little bit of rain. Yeah. Something for everybody. It's a little, little bit of variety. I tell you, one uh, fireworks show that went really well here, Janae, I was watching on our camera from Motion City, Flint Plaza Hotel. Still a couple people lingering around, but this was packed. And then everyone on the sand, they lit the fireworks off from right about there. Uh, you can just see the moon kind of veiled in some high level clouds there right under our banner. But otherwise, a few people still left over. It was a nice evening for it. We cleared out as expected. So let's talk about next couple hours. Short term and overnight, not much in the way of activity. The thunder showers we had today and will tomorrow are, are, are uh, fueled by the heat of the day. Got to add the sunshine in the mix and then we'll watch those pop up thunder showers develop. So you're going to see those erupt here around uh, noon, 1, 2, 3 p.m. Very widely scattered. Think like today, maybe you're sitting at home saying what showers. There are a lot of people that stay completely dry and that'll be the case tomorrow too. But you get under one of these. Brief heavy downpour, some gusty winds, sub severe. That's the silver lining in many areas still need the rain. Although this is more of like a super soaker for one city and then it kind of falls apart. Splash and dash, a puddle producer, many areas. So we get to 6 a.m. clouds sticking around. It's another round of thunder showers into the afternoon. I'll just say up front and uh, spoil you the suspense that this pattern sticks with us through a good portion of this week. Scattered thunder showers through the evening hours. Back on Friday, kind of on and off, but a lot of dry time in between. So if you have plans over the next couple of days, maybe you went ahead and just took the whole week off. You can get outside. There is a lot of dry time. Just have a way to get alerts, uh, radar, uh, check in with us on our shows. I'll be watching these thunder showers develop. They'll be brief and move on pretty quick. As we go through Friday into Saturday, that uh, scattered pattern still with us in the morning hours. I expect thunder showers for at least part of the weekend. 72 tonight, partly cloudy skies, just a little bit of moonlight sneaking through. Uh, throughout the day on Wednesday, pop up thunder showers is the rule, but highs generally in the upper 80s and low 90s. We'll be hot, we'll be humid, dew points still in the 70s. That's not going anywhere. We're well within our summer pattern, and we look to settle there for a while. Next seven days play out like this. A lot of heat short term. We're talking mid to upper 80s. So it'll get a touch cooler in the second half of the seven day forecast, but you're talking a few degrees here. Isolated thunder showers each day, Wednesday, Thursday. I think most of the day is dry with a little more activity expected on Friday evening. That'll spill over to parts of the weekend. If I have to choose a pick day, I say it's Saturday. A little less chance for some thunder showers. That is to say a little more widespread on Sunday. Scattered again early next week. Highs holding in the mid 80s. That's pretty close to average for this time of year. Lots of thunder showers to track. We'll stay on top of it, Janae.